Itong phone na ito, sabi nila, is the world's smallest na Android phone. This one is coming out with a Android 12 na system. And here in my hand is the Unihertz Jelly 2E. And I'm excited to show you kung ano ba meron dito sa super duper small na phone na sabi nila world's smallest phone. Tara, magsama na natin. So hi guys, I'm Sir Chimano Gadget Psychic and welcome back to my channel. So this one is the Jelly 2E by Unihertz. So dito sa likod, you can see some specs. It's a octa-core na 2 GHz na processor. Basically, this is the MediaTek Helio A22. 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage, 2,000 mAh of battery, 3-inch ang ganun screen size. Meron siya rear camera 16MP and front camera na 8MP. Then of course, 4G na rin siya, by the way. Sa muna natin. So this one is uh, designed by Unihertz. So sumunan na natin. Na. So we have your SIM injector tool over here. We have a free screen guard, user guide. This is the phone itself. Yeah, malit nga talaga siya. To together inside, meron siyang C cable na naka-angle, which is okay. And of course, isang strap na pwede mo ilagay sa inyong wrist. Wala siyang charging brick, though I'm not quite sure why. Maybe ginagaya lang nila sa Apple na walang free charger anymore. So much for that. So here is the Unihertz Jelly 2E. So Jelly, it's probably because medyo mukhang jelly bean siya. And dito sa likod, we can see there's a uh, fingerprint scanner. And dyan ang kanyang 16MP na camera together with a LED flash. It comes with a jelly case na nakakabit na. So might as well take it off para makita natin na maayas. This is how it looks like. This is the color gray. So bigyan ko lang kayo ng quick phone tour. So ilalim, nandiyan ka ng loudspeaker. Microphone in. So, dito sa gilid, there's the volume rocker. And sa ibaba, we can see there's the audio jack, my, uh, noise cancelling mic, and of course, IR blaster. Then, on this other side, the power button, dedicated button. This, by the way, ang kind of default is uh, flashlight. Okay? So, pwede mo i-set, no? Depending sa kailangan mo. Nandiyan ka ng Type-C charging port, of course, ka ng SIM tray. Now, um, saman na natin to. You can see it's a hybrid, so dalawang nano sim or isang nano sim plus isang micro SD expansion. And by the way, it's 4G, not 5G. And ganito itsura niya, no? Once you put it up, swipe it up. And surprising, ah, hindi siya lagi, ah, when you're swiping it, okay siya for me, ah. Now, itong phone na ito is definitely cute. And of course, ang kanyang screen size is quite small at around 3 inch. And I can say it reminds me a lot of those back in the days, yung mga beeper, no? It used to be this small, ang beeper, na sinasabit sa inyong mga belt or sa inyong mga bag. And yeah, it received messages just the way it should be. Pupunta ka pa ng payphone just to send a 160 character text. And of course, madalas ba nag wrong spelling? Dahil mga beeper agent medyo mahina sa spelling. Of course, not all. Ang processor ng phone nito is a MediaTek Helio A22. So it was able to score a 91,000 points dito sa Antutu benchmark. And try lang natin siya i-breakdown. No? Medyo sluggish siya a little bit. And this is the breakdown score. And surprising, this phone is able to do what a normal big phone can do. And this one was able to score this score sa Slingshot Extreme sa 3D Mark test. Ito naman ang score na kuha niya dito sa Geekbench. Now, one thing na you should notice about ito phone na ito is very light siya at 110 grams. This one is probably one of the lightest na Android phone na ever nawakan ko dito sa aking kamay. Probably one thing na kailangan mo masanay no, is medyo kailangan mo gamitin yung edge ng iyong uh, thumb just to be able to type properly dito. Let's just say gusto kong mag-type mba.com. So, pag hindi ka sanay dito, madalas mali ang natatype mo. But if you're getting used to it, getting to the hang of it, Madali lang. And of course, uh, browsing is definitely okay. Except that medyo malit nga lang mga text na makita ba dito. This one also has Play Store. So you can install of all of your favorite apps like Lazada, Shopee. Kung gusto mo palagyan ng Genshin Impact, which I'm pretty sure na hindi tatakbo dito, pwede mo rin ilagay or masyadong sluggish. 
you can use this probably as your uh, communication device like whether you get a Viber, Messenger, WeChat, WhatsApp, and all of those uh, communication apps is definitely very smooth naman ang ganyan tak yung ito. Now, if you're the type of person na manage the social media, this one is okay for viewing uh, well, uh, reels and uh, mga videos, short videos, be it on YouTube Shorts, or be it here sa TikTok, sa Facebook, sa Twitter, and of course sa uh, IG. Okay na okay, no? This one still deploys yung capacitive touch dito, no? This one being the home button. Ito ang kanyang uh, back. And this one is to check yung mga naka-open mo na apps. Ito phone na ito has a 2,000 mAh of battery. And of course, charging this one from 0 to 100, it takes me an hour and 48 minutes to complete the full charging cycle. Since wala siyang supplied na charger, I would suggest you use this one from Ugreen, ang kanyang next node na mini 30 watts charger. I'm not quite sure kung anong charging speed na meron netong mini hertz na gel 2E but I'm pretty sure it's just around mga 10 to or 18 watts ang ganyang gamit. So, this one is very much suitable for your charging need. Ang Ugreen na mini 30 watts na charger, very portable, very small, just like the gel 2E. If you want to know kung saan pwede mabili itong charger na ito, well, link on the description box below. So guys, sa trip na natin, maglaro ng a quick game dito sa phone na ito. And this is the graphical settings na pwede mo iset dito sa Call of Duty Mobile. So, let's give it a game test. So right now, we'll be playing a quick game dito sa shooting game sa Call of Duty Mobile. Here are the world's smallest Android 12 phone. I'm not sure kung makapag-hold up siya sa requirements ng daliri ko. No? So medyo malaki daliri ko. So medyo malaki na cover sa screen. No? So let's see how the gameplay might actually look like in actual gameplay dito sa phone na So initially, I'm really having a hard time na makapatay na kasi sa sobrang lit ng screen, alas wala ako napipindot malim or mali-mali makapindot ko, no? Okay, we're getting our first kill. Yeah, we're getting a hang of it. So guys, nakita na ang gameplay dito on the world's smallest na Android 12 na phone. And I can say, playable siya and nakakatuwa, no? I was able to let me play this game. Though medyo nahirapan lang mag maghabol sa controls kasi mali-mali ang napipindot ko. But I was able to get some kills at the very least dito sa phone na ito. Playing dito Call of Duty Mobile is definitely cool. But of course... I would really suggest no, if you are a pro gamer ng mga games on this smartphone. Pero kung trip-trip nyo lang, okay naman siya. So, niran natin ang thermal throttling test. This is what I got. Okay naman ang score niya, all, almost. But, of course, may kunting throttle na. Now, ito, phone na ito, you having a 16MP na front-facing camera. I can say yung mga photos na nakuha ko using the rear camera are just average. There are some really nice ones, but of course, don't expect too much from its camera. And was able to shoot, but of course, not really the best that I've seen. Sa outdoors, pretty much okay naman siya. And sa indoor, medyo hirap siya konti, but it was still able to get me some good shots. Now, in terms of the front-facing camera, it was able to snap in some good shots using its 8MP camera. Uh, outdoor, indoor are quite average. And... Gusto natin pakita sa inyo, no? If you're shooting using the front-facing camera for video, this is what I got for outdoor. So guys, this is the video resolution if you're vlogging using this tiny little phone called the Unihertz Jelly 2E. And I can say that the video resolution is just average. Don't expect too much from it. And well, it's usable. And of course, you can expect this uh, resolution if you're using it for Viber chat uh, and messenger chat. This is what you get. Plus the audio is using the default mic. And this is what I got for indoor. And this is the resolution of the Unihertz Jelly 2E if you are using it for vlogging indoors. I think the indoors is looking a lot better than the outdoors. What's that thing? So guys, nakalito na natin na gusto ito phone na ito, si Jelly 2E by Unihertz. And what can I say about this phone? It's currently being priced at 8,500 pesos sa Blackview Official Store sa Lazada. I'll be posting on the link 
on the description box below. And well, overall, if your ang trip nyo is something very small, na very handy, very pocketable, this is something na pwede nyo yung gamitin. And of course, um, I wouldn't really recommend if you are somebody who likes beach watching on on your phone, kasi sobrang lit ang screen niya. And if you're playing games, well, okay then if you're trip trip lang. But if you're playing yung mga hardcore games, I also wouldn't suggest. This one is definitely okay if you're looking for backup phone, mga phones na pang uh, alternate phone lang. This is okay, definitely pang trip trip lang. And this phone is definitely okay if yun ang trip niyo. But if you're going for the a little bit more mainstream, I wouldn't really suggest this phone kasi medyo malit nga lang talaga screen niya. So guys, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, hit that bell icon para hindi naman miss mga future uploads dito sa aking channel. And so, ako para sa Richmond, and you're watching Gadget Psychic. What's up? Like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. For one of my latest uploads, click the dito. And for one of my popular uploads, click here.